Hey guys, it's official. I'm officially a YouTuber. What does that mean? Look at look at what I got today. Am I still filming? No, it's not. So don't mind the mess. But look at that! Oh my god, I got my ring. Yeah, I came in today. Why are you chasing yourself up and down? My god. <laughs> so. Let's get started with today's video. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. So let, let me see if I can like, let me see how actually, let me see how the ring works. If I were to do this, to avoid unnecessary people. And let's have a look. I want to try this ring. So bear with me. Okay. Okay. And then it goes like, no, no. more. Yeah. And then it goes something like, how do you do this? Yeah. <laughs> Is everyone? It's so cool. Oh my god. It's amazing. Yeah, guys. Oh my god. It looks so neat. Oh my god. For the mirror is like really, really cool. Anyway, my people, subscribe to my channel. Okay? Subscribe. The Nomad, that's me. Okay, subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna turn that off because I don't need it. So cool! Oh my god! Oh my god! My YouTuber! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! I'm a whole mood. Okay. My heart and my soul do if I could pick a day to run away, I'll surely pick a Sunday. Cause the angels will be totally there at the disposal of you and me. The reason I need the angels to talk to you for me is that you're my angel. So maybe you will understand the angels when they tell you how I feel. Oh, I'll love far away to a place where there'll be so many angels. That I and that I, my honey boo boo, yeah. Okay, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today is going to be an educational as well as uh, it's gonna be a big topic basically. I want to talk about the re reunification of Africa. You know, it's interesting when you talk about the reuni reunification of Africa. The reason I'm talking about this is because the, the richest man in Africa, Dangote. I don't know his first name. Is it like Mohamedou Dangote or something? Um, Dangote this, um, said something along the lines of whenever he's trying to visit place, um, other countries within Africa and he's got his maybe investors with him. And say, for example, they're from the West, so they have this passport with them and they have free entry or, you know, they get this visitor's visa, whatever. Whereas he has to apply for a visa because he's a Nigerian citizen. So obviously he has to go through what we all have to go through, even in Africa, trying to visit West or East, not West because he's Western Africa. So trying to visit the Eastern part of Africa, Northern part of the Southern part of Africa. And I think since he's talking about it, we know he's a wealthy man. So he's quite an important person. So let's talk about it, shall we? So this is interesting to me. Before I go down into the facts and the you know the nitty gritty, reuniting Africa is a big deal because obviously, as we all know, Africa is full of is made up of different tribes. And tribes, sometimes people, they don't really, you know what I mean? They can live well, but it doesn't mean they'll get along. So to unify Africa would mean, first of all, to me, before I go down the, um, the roots of speak, speaking about facts and figures, um, we need to talk about tribes. 
and how people used to live back in the day amicably with each other anyway moving on so why is africa the way it is today and what led to the i call it the um what do you call it the uh i used to call it something last year i called it um what's this biblical thing wall of jericho why why, why was the wall of jericho um enacted so within africa that's the borders it's all started in 1884 so I did, I did history and I learned about the First World War and Second World War. In my humble opinion, I really feel like the First World War, whenever she was teaching me, she, wouldn't, she didn't really give me the nitty gritty. It was basically a war of selfishness. Yes, I said it. It was a war of selfishness between the European nations. They wanted to claim more power. And trust and believe me, if you go down history books, you really learn that it was really a war, for, was a war about the scrambling of Africa and African people and African goods. Okay, if I go there, if I go there, that's my humble opinion. It's not, it's not fact yet. So Berlin Conference 9, 1884. This was basically the climax of the European European nations trying to compete for, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm getting this from Oxford, the, um, the Oxford, con Oxford reference. It's called the Encyclopedia of Africa. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to read it word for word, but basically the whole idea is 1884 to 1885 was the climax of European com competition for, Af for the territory in Africa process known as the scramble for Africa blah 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 and then France obviously France Britain Germany and the rest of them not Russia which is very interesting because I feel like Russia has really kept a very clean record between itself and Africa for a very long time and it's going to work in their favor I really feel I feel I really feel like that Blah, blah 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 and then so basically um we, that was when the belgian belgian king that was the one that was killing them and like mutilating them aspired to increase his personal wealth by acquiring african territory that was in central central africa yeah blah blah and then german chancellor otto von bismarck and i i remember i learned about him in first world war yes that was before the second war before hitler how they put him into exile they killed him something like that so so what do I think? I think that before we can talk about the reunification of Africa, we have to talk about the Berlin, what, what do you call it? The Berlin Conference of 1884 and 1885. We look up the contract, what was agreed, and we try to destroy it. Now, to destroy that is the foundation of what we call borders today. Because Africa used to be a tribal, tribal place, like people just had the tribes. It used to be like a tribal nation not countries or with borders it was just you and your tribes so if we can do that to go to another tribe you'd have to um you'd have to i don't know apply for a visa which which i think seems fair i'd rather be with my own tribe and then to get to another tribe i'll just apply to enter and then you can decide yes or no i feel like that would work now can you imagine if 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 you look at Russia or the USA, you know how big it is. Imagine you uh, you were born in Moscow, but because you were born in Moscow, you can't go to like Siberia because you need the visa to, to you need a visa for Siberia. That is how Africa is. Because I'm born in like so for example, because I like, okay, I was born in Africa, Nigeria. Because I was born there, I can't go to like Algeria or like, I can't go to like Zimbabwe just for free, like without a visa. Can you imagine to be if you were born in like um. So you were born in New York and you can't go to like Alaska or, you know, wherever you want to go because you need a visa. You know how much income the USA is making every day just because people can travel freely and there's a free movement of things, goods, resources, things are just moving. Do you know, do you know how much hindrance the average Nigerian have to, oh, sorry, average African have to face every day? since the beginning of this conference or whatever even since they began their whole colonial whatever do you know how much hindrance we have to face just because we can't go to places sometimes you know people move yeah people move even in biblical times people are moving say for example south africa economy is doing well okay i might want to be like okay i want to go to south africa. i want to go i want to go work there but i can't just go there i need an employer i need a visa i need this i need that 
Uh, I don't really know what I really need, but I didn't look into it. But basically, you get my point. So Dan Goethe, since you have money and you have power, so let's talk about it. Okay. Thank you. See you guys later. Bye.